My name is Nancy Goring. I'm a senior analyst at 451 Research, where I follow application and infrastructure performance. There's a lot of evolving going on in terms of uh, IT ops these days in enterprises. So there's a, a bit of a, a maturity curve that I've been observing, and it's not every business is uh, following the same path, but I do see a lot of commonalities across a lot of organizations. And so really it starts in the traditional model of IT ops, where you've got developers and software engineers writing software, they hand that off to an operations team once it hits production and the ops team is responsible from there. Um, this was, you know, a slow approach. It made it really difficult for developers to iterate. And that's really what helped spur the idea of DevOps, which has become very popular, as, as I'm sure you all know, over the past few years. And the idea here is to create teams where engineers build software and they're also responsible for operating it once it gets into production. And so while this really helped with speeding things along, what I heard from a lot of enterprises is actually performance and reliability of applications drop. And that I think is because of problems with visibility and tooling. So a lot of times what I see in enterprises is they might end up with dozens or more DevOps teams, and each of those teams has chosen their own monitoring tools in order to get visibility into the performance of their applications. Um, so I hear from enterprises that talk about having 50, 60, 70, maybe more monitoring tools. And what happens is actually there's a lot more confusion. There's not great visibility into what's going on. There's not good coordination, particularly when DevOps teams are organized around microservices. So they may have difficulty working, collaborating with other DevOps teams that have that are running microservices that are reliant or dependent on, on other microservices. And so I actually see performance dropping during this phase. And in response to this, I'm seeing uh, one particular trend that I think is interesting. So I'm seeing some companies form new teams. It might be called uh, an observability team, it's maybe an SRE team, it might actually just be an evolution of an existing ops team. And they, what this team is responsible for is not all operations, they're not doing all the monitoring and fixing problems in production like a traditional ops team, but they're taking on some important responsibility, sometimes around tooling. So what I often see is this team makes some decisions around monitoring tools, they manage the vendor relationship, they become experts at how to get the most out of those tools, but they're offering them sort of like a service to the DevOps teams, which use these tools to monitor their applications and drive performance. And this can be really helpful, particularly because it means that multiple DevOps teams are using the same tools. They might be able to get better visibility into neighboring microservices that might have an impact on the microservice they're responsible for. So it ends up uh, really in, improving visibility and uh, improving performance and, and sort of getting over a hump that I see a lot of people face when they first embrace DevOps. And so that's uh, still an evolving space right now. And I think uh, in the future, what, what I expect to see in terms of IT ops and the approach to IT ops is a, a much more automated environment where uh, it, automation skills are going to be in really high demand and where intelligent monitoring tools are relied upon to accurately pinpoint the cause of problems and then kick off automations that can solve those problems. So that's what uh, I think we have to look forward to in the future.